welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. In the uh, previous episode, um, well, we dealt with uh, Aquitaine, and we basically conceded on Portugal and on um, whatever this is, County of Calatrava, as being independent uh, nations. Now the good news is is that our truce is coming to an end with uh, Calatrava and uh, Portugal has an alliance with uh, Upper Lorraine, uh, which is a pretty sizable duchy inside the complex Holy Roman Empire. So uh, this might not be easily within our reach. We cannot declare any wars because we are in debt because of the war that we lost with Aquitaine and with just a whole bunch of, you know, other host of uh, uh, difficulties that we uh, came across with wars. And, and there's just so much, um, um, like, um, of these kinds of things, these uh, uprisings and stuff uh, in the Holy Roman Empire and some of our uh, allies. So it really made it uh, more difficult. This is still version 1.4.4 that we're on. Um, as I previously said, previously said that uh, I've had problems trying to migrate the save to 1.5, so I'm just trying to fi finish the save here on 1.4. Now I don't know if um, you know if uh, some of our duchies if they're going to try to take over. Um, uh, uh, this guy here is this duchy is controlled by the guy in running Portugal, so he actually might try to go after uh, Count uh, Zeal here. Because Zeal is a bastard founder, apparently. Um, uh, going after his liege is um, Duke Sancho Nunez, who is uh, running the Duchy of uh, Combra, so he's not the rightful liege. There's also some kind of, you know, a couple of these um, fact independence, you know, things that they don't want to be under the liege of their. Uh, um, of their uh, liege, I guess. They want to be under me as their liege. So I guess I lost the trait ill. We were not very good with health last time. We do have our deviant secret uh, exposed from torture. That's been there for a couple episodes now. Melancholic, of course. We really only control the kingdom, our duchy, and our own county. Everything else has been distributed. I'm well again, so I'm at 59 years of age, but I guess we are going to be fine. If we look at the family tree here, um, yeah, it looks like we're going to have pretty good uh, offspring here. I don't think you have given birth to a child yet, contrite. The Theodora suffers from a guilty conscience, often feeling compelled to confess things better left unmentioned. Intrigue minus two, stress loss minus 20%. She's a genius and she is a flamboyant trickster. Um, and she's also gluttonous and ambitious and uh, brave. So, yeah. Um, that's that's her primary heir. And then Velasco the second. So this is going to be Alfonso the eighth. And then when we hit to Velasco the second, or yeah, Velasco the second, that's going to be a genius. But I don't know how long. I guess uh, who, I guess we're going to have a couple short-ish reigns. reigns. Um, yeah, not going to be that long. Anyways, uh, let's run the clock. I already started running the clock here. Um, when it comes to swaying, I think it's good enough for our uh, bishop. Uh, let's take a look at who is... We could try to pass increased crown authority, um, which is good because, for example, we would be able to establish uh, Christianity in um, the Duchy of uh, Tahirid. Um, if we look at our powerful vassals here, uh, you can see most of them are actually kind of happy. This guy's not on the council. He's a little bit negative. I can't bribe him. Well, what's blue, actually? Uh, a powerful vassal doesn't expect anything, because he's probably a child. Duchess Yuana Lanes of Toledo? Um, let's start a sway scheme against her. She is terrified of me, though. Um, and this guy, the fact that he is not in a good mood, that's going to be Aragon. That, um, Aragon, that's going to be problematic. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, council real quick before we run the clock again. 
Um, basically, everyone on the council is everyone on the council is essentially powerful vassal, with the exception of the spy master, which is Annika, and Annika is my daughter and my friend. Um, so, what could my wife be useful for? She could also help with uh, managing domain for extra cash. We don't really need uh, martial at the moment um, or chivalry. Uh, patronage is for education. I don't know if we really need to boost education. And intrigue, um, we're doing disrupting schemes now, right? Yes. I'm not sure if I should switch that over to uh, looking for secrets. Uh, that might be more uh, useful at this uh, point in time. Um, so yeah, intrigue. She's pretty strong in intrigue. She's pretty strong with learning. She's a little. She's also a little bit into uh, physicianing for uh, health. Uh, that's good for her health, I guess, more than anything else. Organized levies. Uh, increase in control. I think this was one of the counties that needs a uh, control boost. I'm going to switch this over to look for your secrets. Um, let's see here. Um, some of these are pretty high up. So this one's 70% chance of finding a secret. Let's go. Let's go check out over there. Run the clock. We're almost out of debt, which is good, so we're not going to get those debuffs on our counties, which is going to have a negative impact on our opinion. Um, so I'm just going to run the clock here. We got a martial perk. We should be able to switch this soon. Hit and run tactics, maybe. That would be useful for the amount of fleeing. Yeah, so we can switch this over to Diplo. Um, I don't know if I want Diplo plus three or if I want prestige boost. I have quite a bit of prestige. Yes, I do have quite a bit of prestige, don't I? 2.5k to work with. That was more than uh, Alfonso the Seventh had to play with because at the end with Alfonso the Seventh, we were essentially in debt, uh, prestige-wise. Um, here we're struggling with gold, so it's like a different resource that we're struggling with. Uh, I was looking at this menu. I want to switch because of uh, I'm thinking about Ducal going to force vassalization. Um, I think I'll just go with Diplo plus three because I kind of more need the um, diplomacy improvements, as in like uh, um, getting people on my side with uh, boosted opinion, right? Powerful vassal controlling. Uh, yeah, domestic affairs plus nine, autonomous vassals, patriot. Yeah, so this this is not good if I want to increase the clan authority. Because, uh, hold on here. So this is plus a direct vassal opinion plus ten. So that's just going to be completely gone um, when I go up to uh, limited clan authority. Um, the problem with that is I would like to be able to uh, revoke your title and demand your conversion um, to uh, Catholicism. That's what I would want. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Question is, it's, it's really how, how big of a hole do I want to dig? These guys are like on the line. Like this would just be plus seven. Um, if I go back into my people here. You can see, yeah, my wife is zero, literally like zero here, and and um, who has titles? Um, this is my court. Who has my vassals? Um, yeah, I mean eighty, negative twenty-eight. So that's going to be even more down the drain. So uh, let's take a look at factions here. There's one person here. It is uh. uh Wenzel of Badajoz, who's a Bavarian that's looking for independence, apparently. So, yeah, primary heir is Willa von Badajoz. I don't know how Bavarians got there, but sure. Okay, so Estefania has had a child. Um. Um, what are we going to name him? Louis? I don't really have a problem with the name Louis, so I'll, I'll stick with that. Um, oh, my wife died from mysterious circumstances. 
that's what happened. Somebody murdered my wife, probably. Interesting. Um, that was probably before this guy even became king. Um, Amir Wanako. Um, who are you? Duchy of the Myriad Emirate. No, can I... I'm not gonna let you go, bro. Can I not, um... Negotiate release? Can I not, like, steal your... Ransom for... Favor? Um, torture? No, I, I don't want to do that. Execute... Uh, you were offering me 100 gold? I'll take the 100 gold, actually, honestly. I'll, I'll take the 100 gold. Um, so if I click on our lineage here, we're on nine wars, which is basically seven defensive, one offensive, one offensive Great Holy War. We're almost back at that 8k. I want to set up a rally point here, and I want to try to get this territory back. I am tempted to increase our crown authority. Um, yeah, we're making progress here. Um, who are we trying to sway? Why are we still swaying you? Um, no, we're, we're swaying Duchess Yuana so that she will be more happy. Um... Um, this guy, who's not our bishop and is not relevant, has gained further for the Catholic faith. And Eureka has had a child, Antonio, who's also a genius. Um, I'm not really against the name Antonio either. Um, but we'll see what we can come with. Now let's just stick with Antonio. Don't have anything against Antonio as a name. That's a, that's a name. Uh, si slain, Nick Slain. Uh, that's that's probably not how you're supposed to pronounce those characters with accents on them in um, Irish Gaelic. I don't speak Irish Gaelic, so I don't know if uh, that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. I'm assuming not. Um, you know, this list is kind of this list is kind of mess messy. Um, I know it gets weird when it's like a couple generations off if you're trying to plan a. Um, marriage um, within five years yeah now we don't have many options yeah I'll, I'll just I'll just sit on it for now uh, we're almost found a secret over here our um, increase in control is almost done as well um, there's definitely some pillaging going on over there how's our faction uh, looking Still too weak to send an ultimate. We have a lot of people who cannot join a faction. Because uh, you're underage, you're a friend, good. Underage, underage, in present. So it's mostly because our vassals are underage, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, while performing your duties, Annika has uncovered a secret held by Countess of uh, this name, of uh, Kalatrava, and uh, Magdalena is a bastard child of Wazibora and Hogger. Okay, Hogger is actually uh, mur dead. He was uh, murdered in battle by uh, Conrad Wetton. So, yeah, unbelievable. So, uh, um, I'm not sure if we can blackmail her. Um, um, I'm not sure what blackmail is going to do, but, um, yeah, let's see what it does. So, a weak hook, um, offer vassalage. I can't use a hook for vassalization. I do not have a Cassus Belly on her territory. Really? I don't have a Cassus Belly. 
on uh, this territory. What duchy is she supposed to be a part of? Cordoba? I do not have enough gold to create this duchy. I see. So basically, if I want to have a proper Cassus Belly, um, I need to basically run the clock until I have uh, 200 gold before I can create this duchy of Cordoba. Give it to uh, whoever is supposed to hold the capital, which is supposed to be right here. Lord Yu. Um, low County Control in Lyon. Is this almost done? I think that finished. The uh, control... 56 days left. I'll switch over to Lyon when this is done. In uh, Jane. Jayen or whatever. Hyen? I, I don't know how this is pronounced. Uh, Margarita can marry. Okay, my granddaughter. Um, this is inheritable traits that I'm looking at. Um, alliance power. Uh, one came in. That is, if I want, there's nobody with a genius. I could get this Greek guy over here. Ooh, grandson though. Mm. Uh, this Armenian guy. Where are you on the tree? We're not talking about Iraka. Who are we talking about? Margarita. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter um, if we get you married to a genius or not. Uh, maybe it's just better to go with a person for maximum alliance power that's, you know, within five years of your age. Which ends up being this guy with 3.4k men. So maybe that's more worth it. Um, yeah, maybe. Matrilineal, absolutely not. All right. Do we have a Violante? Yeah, I can't control anyone from this side of the family, unfortunately, because Alfonso is like somewhat independent and outside of my realm. Um, sure. Okay, so let's go move this from... Let's go work on control in Lyon. Even though that's probably not the worst place in the country that needs um, help. And we're almost at uh, 200 gold, so we're almost ready to prepare for uh, another war here against her. Very vulnerable because she doesn't have lackluster administration. Excellent. Um, keep running the clock. Okay, disrupt schemes. Excellent. Disrupt those schemes. Um, okay, we're at 200 gold. I'm going to create the Duchy of Cordoba, since we have enough. Um, and I'm going to... Oh, I don't know if I want to award it to you, or if I want to award it to... Okay, you are actually having the highest opinion of me. So, uh, Cordoba... Uh, he's gonna get 60, so he's gonna be happy with me, which is good. And now his vassals are not my problem. And I'm assuming my vassals are automatically transferred to you. Uh, powerful vassal, you, okay. So yeah, you expect a position on the um, council, but uh, yes, I mean, uh, let's see here. I mean, maybe intrigue, but I don't really want to put you on intrigue. Um, I'm not sure if that... That would make you happy, though. But the Intrigue, you're worse than Annika. Um, but it might be worth it. Might be worth it to put you on... Yeah, okay. Well, I think... Um, I know this episode's a little bit shorter, but I think I'll uh, wrap up this episode here. So if you guys like this video, please do uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.